<laughs> we just discovered how to add native HDR to every single game, okay? And the results are phenomenal. But I realized that I probably got way too excited and I said, it just works, <laughs> okay? And I hear you. I'm trying to figure out the issues, okay? Why it doesn't work sometimes, okay? But man, let's do this. If it doesn't work on the game that you're testing it right now, try it on a different game because after you see this, this look at this, look at this thing. This game doesn't support HDR. And it's just flawless. Just look at the graph. Okay, my camera cannot capture what I see in front of me. Okay, if I show you this, for example, this corner on the recording looks crushed. Okay, this looks darker than what I see in front of me. This looks a little bit blown out. Okay, my camera cannot capture this. But if you see this in person, look at the graph, man. This is just perfection. Okay, we're talking about the best HDR you've ever seen. And this is native HDR because what this reshade add-on is doing is forcing the HDR from the engine, okay? So this is Unreal Engine 4, for example. And let's say if the developers were to implement native HDR, this is what they're going to do, okay? So this is native HDR, of course. If the developers are working on native HDR, they are probably going to, well, probably not. They could, <laughs> they could add some details, okay? More information, you know, give you more highlight details and other things, which is very rare. It's, it's rare to see that, but it could be better, of course, that if the developers work on it, but they don't, <laughs> okay? Of course, this is an indie game. There's nothing to, I like this game a lot, actually. Um, so there's nothing to, you know, hammer on with this, but we see big AAA titles without HDR support. So for now, let's enjoy it. Let's try to find a game where this works and enjoy it. I am trying to figure out what is the problem, okay? How can we understand how this works, wh why it doesn't work sometimes? Yes, I'm testing some of the games that you mentioned because I have them. I install some of them that don't work and I'm trying to figure out why and see if there's a solution, if there's a way. So we will figure this out, okay? For now, Unreal Engine games that do not support HDR, this is just absolutely flawless, man. It's <laughs> just, you have to test it here. It, it, how many of those do we have? I mean, I would say that's probably the majority of the games, Unreal Engine games. And this is just, <laughs> look at this thing, man. This is the best HDR you've ever seen. Look at the graph here. This is just a beauty. <laughs> so here's the thing, one, one detail. From the last video, I said, you, uh, I recommend, 2.4, okay, content TRC. So what we are doing here, if, if this is the first video you, you see, I'm gonna have a link in the description to the announcement of this where I explain. Uh, but basically what we're doing here is adding this add-on that is called Major Pain the Cactus. So you download this add-on, you load it here uh, with Reshade and then you have to use this Lilium's inverse tone mapping, which is something you have to download. So you have to download Reshade, you have to download Major Paint the Cactus HDR add-on, and you have to download Lilium's shaders, okay? And then all we have to do is use this Lilium's inverse tone mapping, because when you use this add-on, which is called Auto HDR, but it's not really Auto HDR, okay? So we're going from this is not our HDR this is activating HDR from the engine okay this is not even a conversion I believe this is not a conversion from SDR to HDR this is activating the HDR than the that the engine has that's why it looks like this 
So you have to activate this, enable HDR, and then this Lilium's inverse tone mapping fixes. Because once you activate that, it's like 10,000 nits, it looks wild, okay? But this fixes that. So I recommended here this Content TRC 2.4, not necessarily. Okay, for example, this game, when you go to the Gamma settings, it says Gamma 2.2. So you select here 2.2, okay, and it looks better. And you get more visibility in your black, but 2.4 looks very good too. So yeah, and select this BT2446 method A. And the target brightness of your display. So in my case, I'm using an LG C1, 800 nits for HGIG. That's it, that's all you have to do. It's just absolutely incredible. So now... Let me try to maybe address some of the comments that I heard from that video. Again, I have to come back. I have to work today. I have to go do my teaching day. And when I come back, I'm going to work on it. See if I can figure it out. The games that don't work, the games that I saw that you reported, try to figure it out why. And of course, we will figure this out, okay? I will do a follow-up video and and try to see how to get this working but if you have a game that supports native HDR we know how to fix that okay don't fight trying to get this just fix the native HDR using tone mapping using the HDR black floor fix shader okay so for now get this working on the games that don't support native HDR okay the games that you pr probably playing with auto HDR, this looks better. This looks so much better. It's just absolutely amazing. So for now, let's try to find the games where this works. Okay, and when it works, it's just amazing. And we'll figure it out. I'm gonna try to figure it out why it's not working on the on some of the games that you mentioned. So now let me try to address um, some of the things that I heard here. Oh, the Lilium is not working. You have to come here. And you have to type in C under CSP override. You have to type in CSP HDR10. Okay? You have to do that. Otherwise, it tells you error. Okay? So, for example, right now you see here Lilium's HDR black floor fix error. So, if I come here. I activate this I come here Lilium's HDR black floor fix and it says currently allowed override CSP HDR 10 so we have to come here and say okay this is CSP HDR 10 underscore CSP underscore HDR 10 boom you see it no longer tells you error it works it works so that's that's what you have to do to get this working so now the add-on to add it is very simple you click here let me make this bigger so you can see this better this yes. increase the size okay so this is very simple you click here on the add-on and then here you're going to paste where the major pain the cactus folder is okay so you download the major pain the cactus add-on from the link link in the description of this video too and then that folder so when you open the windows explorer just copy the path you know c users whatever download whatever wherever you have that add on just copy and paste it here and you just hit select okay you close the game you open it again and then it will load you need to close the game and open it again so now some people said hey I cannot even download this major pain the cactus um, mod I don't see the download button okay the same thing happened to me I didn't see the download button so what I had to do was to download each file separately so you see all the files you click on it and when you click on the file you go to the right and you see a download icon 
So you have to hit there, download, one by one. Okay, so you open one file, hit download, go back, open the next one, download. I don't, I didn't see the download button for that. Um, so yeah, some of you um, ask about that. And some of you said that the game is crashing and then you have to delete this this path from the so you have to delete basically the add-on for the game to launch I don't know why is that happening so I basically I don't know why the games are crashing some of the games that you mentioned are crashing okay so I'll try to figure that out I'll try to figure that out um, I'm just not going to test like Elden Ring right? there's no need to do that because Elden Ring HDR is perfect okay or some of you mentioned uh, Call of Duty Call of Duty HDR is perfect too okay so there's no need to do that it just it looks amazing so I'm going to test I mean I haven't tested Call of Duty with this tool yet I'm going to install it probably and test it but you cannot use add-on on multiplayer games okay you get banned so this is not allowed for multiplayer games it's only for single player games um, but yeah Call of Duty is great so I'm going to test this on games that are messed up okay games that really need this focus on that first okay and then we'll f try to figure it out for everything else I did get this working on Immortal Phoenix Rising which is a game that I have installed right now and Immortal Phoenix Rising has native HDR so there you go some of you were saying the games that have native HDR are crashing well not all of them so we'll have to figure out why some of the games are crashing and what why some of the games are working but yeah we'll figure it out bro <laughs> we are we are very 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 far very advanced already we got I mean look at this graph man look at this thing this is just beauty it's just perfection the, the black floor is absolutely perfect so all the shadow detail is visible you get the peak brightness that you select it's just perfect like I've never seen a better HDR than this I mean it cannot get better than this okay again you know if the developers support it they might be able to add some extra details but there's no more more details to add here I mean this is just the light source it looks perfect it doesn't look clip on the recording again it's gonna be look with clipping here in front of me it's just absolutely perfect the the shadow detail is just like everything is just flawless flawless HDR we don't have like overly saturated colors uh, these are more saturated than SDR of course okay and of course there's always someone saying oh but you know the creators intend SDR if, if the developers don't support HDR I want to respect the creators intent and not do any of that okay <laughs> yeah play on SDR if you want to get the creators intent maybe play Starfield <laughs> with the creators intent and, and enjoy <laughs> but me personally I don't care about the creators intent okay I care about the best picture quality and those two don't go together okay perfect example the Starfield creators intent absolute trash okay garbage looking image and we fix it okay it looks better I don't care about the creators intent this just looks so much better than SDR it's not even close the other thing, the other question, I, the other thing I want to address is will this work on my monitor on an LCD? Yes, this works everywhere. The only thing you have to change, it doesn't matter which monitor you are using. The only thing you have to change is this brightness here. Target brightness. Some of you ask me, how do I know, you know, what is the target brightness for my display? I will make a separate video about that. It's basically you have to use some test patterns to understand where is the clipping point of your display you have to test if your display is receiving the metadata from Windows which does happen with monitors I shared on a community post this LG Ultra Gear 
240 hertz, 1440p OLED uh, monitor. I shared on a community post some pictures that a member of our community sent me with the proof that that monitor is actually changing the tone mapping curve depending on the games, okay? He showed the service menu of the monitor and uh, what was this game? Days Gone. And when you ch when he was changing the, the brightness, the big brightness on the game, the monitor was changing the tone mapping, okay? So in a case like that, what is the best value? Well, the best value would be the maximum peak brightness of the monitor. So that's moni that monitor is like 650 nits, okay? So that 650 nits tone curve is gonna probably be the l best looking, okay? So you have to study your display, know what is the actual peak brightness of your display, know what are the tone mapping options, and what is the best looking tone mapping option, or if your display has HGIG, which means no tone mapping, then what is the clipping point? So where is your monitor hard clipping? So I'm going to do a separate video. I have to find the game or test patterns that are going to be very clear, very easy uh, to use for testing. So you know what to select here, but this is gonna work everywhere. I'm going to show you actually, I'm gonna test this on my TCL TV, which is a bottom of the barrel LCD screen, which has like 300 nits brightness. I'm gonna show you this working there. Also on my IPS gaming monitor, which is like 530 nits, something like that, I don't remember. I will show you this working. It works everywhere and it looks absolutely amazing. The only thing you might have to, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. I will follow up this. As soon as I have time today, I have to teach um, all day. So tomorrow I'm going to have time and I, and I will test some of the games that you mentioned that are not working. But for now, focus on the games where this works. Try to find the games that don't support HDR and try this, man. It's just amazing so let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions and we'll figure this out man we are this close i mean i got <laughs> so excited i was like yeah this is it <laughs> this is the video we're done with hdr we can move on and talk about something else okay i don't want to make this channel hdr only okay there, there are many many things that i want to talk about the reason why i'm so focused on this specifically is because we need more of this content okay especially PC um, content related with HDR there's none when I'm trying to figure things out and I'm trying to find solutions I see my channel so when I go on Google and type in you know my questions the things that I need to learn I only see myself talking about that okay so I'm like I feel like this is most needed content that's why i'm talking about this because yeah but i i don't want to make this channel about hdr only uh, there are many many other things that i want to explore learn and share um so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions